All right, everyone, I know this is uh, kind of random having this video here in the uh, kind of middle of the week or maybe early in the week and you know, whatever. Uh, but I just want to say that we've had an influx of like 70 people in the last uh, 28 or so di days, which is uh, a fair bit more than normal. Quite a few bit have jumped on recently, so I'm assuming a good chunk of you are probably coming from Unity. So I do want to... Uh, both ask you a question and let you know what goes on here and here on this channel we go over uh, plenty of uh, information here with Gato either things that uh, I think are cool things that might be useful to you as well as uh, things that you guys may request down inside the comments uh, we've uh, we've done a majority of GD script which is it's great to use personally it's fun and I enjoy using it um, but if if you're from Unity and you would really rather stick to uh, C Sharp, then by all means, you can uh, put it down in the comments. Let me know. And uh, maybe I'll do what start doing again what we did before, where I show you how to do something in GD script and then show you the C Sharp equivalent code of how to do that same thing. That way we can kind of get a uh, best of both worlds if that C Sharp interest is really there. Uh, what you're just seeing on screen here is just uh, a skill tree system pretty simple uh, it doesn't activate uh, or at least correlate with anything at the current time but you see we do have all of our skills you have to rank them up before you can go ahead branches all activate and light up and you can place these in wherever you want as long as you're seeing a setup correctly and the branches will all completely uh, create each other right they're automatically linked up to each other all right, so around here, uh, we do videos go up uh, once a week. They go up on Saturday. Uh, occasionally, like this, you may get a random video in the middle, uh, in between two videos, in this case, to inform uh, some of you Unity guys that may have came over, uh, what's going on and how this channel works. And also, another reason that I may come over here and show you or make the second video in the middle of the week like this um is i know you guys over at unity uh you were used to having your file system which here in gato is over on the right or sorry over on the left and if you use the split you kind of got this vertical split going on and i know you guys had it in the middle of uh, the engine down here at the bottom and i've actually been uh, made a plugin for uh, helping some former unity people uh, that preferred it and i'm actually going to show you how to do that so you're just gonna at the top of the editor here you're going to go to the asset lib section and you're going to see it uh, here now you might have to do a search for it i just called it horizontal file system it's kind of a merger icon between uh gato or godot and the unity icon and as you can see we get a horizontal layout now and if you pop it out uh, into its own window, that's what it would look like. If you left it on the side, that's what it would look like. And of course, it's that might take up too much space. But I'm going to show you. We have I have added the ability to stick it in the bottom of your editor, and you actually cannot see that window. Uh, my mistake. Just give me one moment there. Uh, right there. There you go. So if I just uh, enlarge that for you there. So here, this is what we got. And all we have to do is just hit the download button here. And we're going to see it's going to come up with an install. And once that's done, you're going to come up with this screen here. And the only thing you need to keep is the add-ons folder here and everything inside of it. Hit the install button, which is down here at the bottom. Hit install. It's been added successfully is what should pop up on your screen. You'll hit OK. And to activate it, now just give me one moment. I'm going to jump to display capture to make sure we can uh, capture the stuff here. We just go up to project and project settings, head to the plugins tab, and you'll see the add-on here. Just go ahead and enable that. And now you'll see you hit the split over here on the left. It's over there. And again, the pop out. You just click these three dots, make floating, and there you go. You can have that. 
But of course, I said that you guys were Unity people. You're used to having it down in the middle. So what I've done is if you just go to Project, go to Tools, you can hit Files to Bottom. And now you have it right down here, right at the bottom, just like uh, you're used to. Alright, so there's a quick add-on that might uh, entice you into, or uh, make you feel better or more at ease in your transition. And for some of you out there that uh, just use a Gato and GD script and you've never used Unity, maybe this is something that'll be attractive to you. I know the more I look at it, the more I you know, actually kind of like my file system down there at the bottom. So I might start using this one myself. Um, but there you go. That's a quick plugin for some of you uh, Unity people that may have came over, as well as um, uh, letting you know how things work. Again, that's we do one video a week here. That's on Saturdays, and that typically comprises of something that I find is interesting or something that uh, might be useful to you guys at some point in addition to things that you want to see and you need help with that you comment down below and the last thing remember if you're from unity and you really want to stick to c sharp uh, let me know and then maybe we'll start showing the uh, c sharp equivalent again of both of our code whenever we do things all right just want to put that out there take care and i'll see you guys on saturday oh uh, i just want to add just uh come in and add one more thing here uh, add one more note here if you don't like the file tree if you don't want to see that at all you can just grab the splitter here and just move it all the way to the left and it, it's completely gone you can just work with just the shelf here if that's what you want and since it's not actually on you can always just grab the splitter and pull back again if you need to all right just thought i'd throw that in there just in case you know you may maybe want to get just one step further to be uh, closer to unity or closer to what you're familiar with but all right take care